Hi friends, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Saurabh Chhabra. In my previous video, I told you about uh, uh, Terraform introduction and what all files we create uh, for the Terraform to work for, for Azure. Uh, in this video, what I'll do is I'll create a few files and I'll talk about them in detail and uh, how uh, and, and to try to create a simple uh, code to create a resource group uh, in Azure. So let's just get started. So uh, yeah, uh, let me show. Uh, let's let's go to the uh, Visual Studio Code, and I'll try to create a folder. App one already exists. Okay. Yeah. So in this folder, we will create few files, right? As I told you, that we will create a file called main.tf, and then we create a file uh, called output dot tf so as you know that the tf uh, is the extension for uh, terraform files and let's create a variable file as well um, terraform dot tf var files as well as one of the files for the variable dot tf Okay, uh, so now we have four files, right? You see uh, main, output, Terraform, TF files. Oh, okay, let me just rename the file. Okay, so uh, let's just go into the main.tf file. In the main.tf file is the, is the uh, file where we you know declare our infrastructure right so whenever we create a code in terraform uh, we create uh, a file called main.tf it can be anything right right it can be terraform.tf as well so but uh, but usually what we do is we create a, a main.tf file where we declare our code where all the uh, the code resides and and we uh, say what all things needs to be declared and what all things needs to be there in your infrastructure right in the output output is the file where we get the output of the particular code uh, and once you run the code then the output is the ones uh, which we can declare what we we need the output to right so that can be an output terraform.tf files and variable.tf files so variable is, is as the name suggests is a variable so if you don't want to hard code uh, any of the uh, you know uh, value inside the key inside the main file you can declare it as a variable and inside a variable you can you can have different tf files where you declare the exact value in the variable.tf files we declare the type and the description and we can hard code it here in the variable.tf or what we can do is we can have separate tf var files where we only declare the the values of those particular keys so you will you will get to know uh, what i'm talking about once we go into uh, in, in this in detail so uh, so yeah so let's just uh, create a simple uh, code where uh, what i'll do is first of all uh, in the main.tf file we have to declare which provider we are working for right so currently we are working for azure right so let's just write provider and see it's coming as a uh, it, it's it's showing me what to do right so i'll just put I'll enter and it's asking which provider you want right so i'll just put it as your rm here and once you do that it will automatically go into the uh, azure rm features i'll just type features here and this is this is the minimum that you have to have to do when you are trying to create your infrastructure in azure right so i am logged into my subscription and so i don't have to uh, you know uh, tell the secrets the keys but what usually happens is you don't uh, have to log in each and every time when you whenever you want to run the code when, whenever this code is in DevOps, right, pipeline, so you don't have to log in there. So what you do is you give out uh, the service, you create the service principle, you you give the contributor rights to that service principle on that particular uh, subscription, and then what you do is you uh, you come in here and give the client the the client ID and all that. So I will be letting you know what all things needs uh, 
needed for this and what uh, the, the minimum thing is that you have to do this and and then you log in into the subscription and it will it will be done right so you just create a, a normal uh, code where we will be creating a resource group so let's just go into the registry for terraform so if you can see here so i, I came into this uh, website from this right that if i just wrote terraform as your resource group right and the first url is here and then we came into right so and in, in this particular uh, website you could see this code right so this is an example so this is what we need right so i'll just copy paste just take it from here and copy paste so i'll let you know what are, what is happening here so a resource is the thing that we have to write whenever we want to create a resource right so here we write resource and then uh, we declare the name of that resource so what are we creating right so here uh, is the pre uh, you know the names that are already there for azure resources so for every resources there are predefined names right so here it it is for azure resource group so if we are creating a virtual machine then it will be a different one it would be azure rm virtual machine for NSG, it would be Azure RM Network Security Group and all that, right? So this is the uh, this is the label that we are giving the name. Um, so it can be anything, right? So I'll just put it as test RG. But the exact name that we want inside, uh, you know, Azure, the name of the RG here, uh, we have to define that. So let me just uh, write whatever I write. Uh, uh, MIT. Mm, MIT broad um, West Europe RG01 yeah. so uh, it can be anything right so let me just uh, have this so let me just save this so what I, what it does is it creates a resource group uh, currently I have not done anything on output I have not done anything on terraform and I have not dot uh, tfr files and not updated anything on on tf uh, variable dot tf i have just created one file where we have declared the provider and we have declared uh, this particular code to create a resource group and i'll show you that we don't have any of the resource group with this name uh, i'll just go back to the portal you could see here right so there's no resource group with this name with mit starting with mit right so let me just go back to my terminal and save it i'm already logged in so what i need to do so uh, one thing i wanted to show you and in this particular uh, folder these are the only files that we have created right so it will uh, you won't be able to do anything until unless you initialize terraform when i say initialize terraform initializing means that you are locking your uh, code in there and it is initializing it uh, in the back end right so let me just do a terraform init command to initialize the terraform the back end right so what it does it it creates a dot uh, terraform file which locks your code right so there are people who will be working on this particular code right so what it does it it has successfully initiated initialize now let's go back and you could see here right so it has created a dot terraform and it has created a dot, a dot terraform dot log dot hcl right so uh, so this is these are the two files it created right if we go drill down and we go in here so this is what it has created it has created a terraform provider azure rm file which which uh, basically installs the azure rm field into this particular uh, you know uh, directory and here it is so these are the files which automatically gets created whenever you initialize those, those particular module so this is a module right if you are creating a directory if you have these files in it it, it is a module uh yeah so let me just uh, so we have initialized this and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna plan right we're gonna do terraform plan just to see what it will do when we are going to uh, ask uh, you know it to apply it to implement right so uh, when we say terraform plan whatever it does it's it's basically checks your existing infrastructure 
uh, as we have not done anything on on this respect so what it'll do is it'll create a state file and when i say a state file it is kind of a file where it tells us uh, what would be your uh, desired state of your infrastructure so now what we're gonna do is uh, it, it is running so let me just pause for a while till it runs yeah, I've just increased the font and if you can see here, it says Terraform use the selected providers, which is Azure RM. And then what it'll do is if you see this plus sign, this is it. what it'll do. It'll create something and what it will create. It'll create a resource group with this name, this ID. ID would be known right after we uh, apply it and uh, in this uh, particular location. So let me just uh, apply it and how to apply terraform apply and what i'll do is i'll auto approve it so it will not ask me to approve again so i'll just auto approve and then press enter so what it'll do is it will do exactly what it says in the uh, terraform plan command so it will create a resource group in my infrastructure uh, and it will generate an id as well as it will you know we would be able to see it the resource group inside uh, the azure portal let me just uh, uh, pause this video and i'll come back yes so uh, it, it didn't take uh, that, that longer so if you could see here in the plan it says it will create in in apply what it does it it did create it right so this this is what the outcome of every apply command it says we have plan and then one to add zero to change and zero to destroy so if we make any changes in the file now and you know if you want to destroy it then it will it will be like uh, one to destroy so, so and if, if you are changing in if you're changing the name this is this is where it will say one to change it will not add something it will just change right so this is this is how uh, terraform tells us what we are doing so it will now create something and it is now created so now we'll go back to the portal and see if we have the resource group. I'll just refresh it. No, no, we have not. Okay, I think I'm in my different subscription. Let me switch the subscription. Yeah, so uh, let me go back to the resource group and I would be able to see the MIT one here. Yeah, so this is what I created just now for you. You can see that this is created with West Europe and here is the resource group. So in my next video, I would be talking about the variables. So doing the same thing with variables where you don't have to declare everything inside the code, right? So this is the main.tf file where we have declared the name, where we have declared the location. So I would be working and I would be telling in my next video how you would uh, not hard code these these values. So this is the code, right? So you don't have to hard code these value here. You can use the variable files to declare these uh, these values outside this particular main file. So we'll be working on that. Okay, thank you.